Frankly, I'd rather spin myself a new name. The story of Rumpelstiltskin, as told by Rumpelstiltskin, by Jessica Gunderson, illustrated by Jana Bach. My name is Rumpelstiltskin. I know, I know. Horrible name, isn't it? Impossible to spell. I'm not sure what my mother was thinking when she gave it to me. Thankfully, she always called me Al. So did everyone else. I thought I could keep my real name a secret forever. Boy, was I wrong. Let me start at the beginning. I'm a traveling gold spinner. I go door to door all around the kingdom and spin straw into gold. It's not hard, really. All it takes is a bit of science and a lot of practice. People pay me oodles of cash. Everyone loves gold. One day as I was passing by the king's castle, I heard someone crying. I poked my head through an open window. Inside, on a pile of straw, sat a young maiden. What's wrong? I asked. The king ordered me to spin this straw into gold, she wailed. If I don't, I'll die. You're in luck, I said. I know how, but my skill has a price. I can pay you with my necklace, the maiden said. I would have rather had cash, but I accepted. While I worked, the maiden told me a long story about her father. He was poor and wanted to look important. So he told the king his daughter could turn straw into gold. She can't. When I finished spinning, the maiden gave me her necklace, and away I went. The next day, I heard sobbing again. It was the same maiden. This time, however, she was in a much bigger straw-filled room. The king was ever so pleased with the gold, she said, but now he wants even more, and if I don't spin all of this... Okay, okay, I said. What will you give me if I help you? I can pay you with my ring, she said. So I spun the straw into gold, took the ring, and went home. The following afternoon, I heard the maiden weeping again. She sat in an enormous room packed wall to wall, floor to ceiling with straw. The king would marry her, she explained, if she spun all the straw into gold. I beg you to help me, dear sir, she said. I want to be queen, but I have nothing left to give you. That's when I got to thinking. I'd always wanted kids, but I didn't have a girlfriend or a wife. I travel too much. Plus, I'd have to put my real name on a marriage license, and I didn't want to do that. You can pay me later, I told the maiden. How about your firstborn son? Yes, of course, I'll give you anything, she said. I spun every last bit of straw in that room into gold. Then I went back to my cottage and thought about what a great dad I'd be someday. Life went on. I traveled far and wide, spinning straw until my fingers hurt. About a year later, I returned home. Newspapers had piled up on my doorstep. Right on top was a picture of the maiden, now the queen, holding a super cute baby. Woohoo! I cried. Time to collect my payment. The queen looked surprised to see me. What was your name again, she asked. I ignored the question and asked for the baby. Certainly not, she said. I reminded her of her promise, but she just hugged the baby tightly and babbled on about feeding times and teething pains and how she loved her boy and couldn't give him up, blah, blah, blah. Fine, I said. Guess my real name in three days and you can keep your baby. I'll warn you, it's very unusual. I've got it, the queen told me the next day. Your name is Casper. I shook my head. Melquire? Nope. Balthazar? Ichabod? Ulysses? Uh-uh, I said. The second day she guessed. Sheepshank? Ribs of beef? Leg of lamb? No, I said. Not even close. 
Tomorrow's your last chance. That night I danced with glee. The queen would never guess my name. I even sang a little song. Ho, 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 only I know. Hear my laugh, see my grin. My name is Rumpelstiltskin. On the third day, the queen asked, Is your name Puffernut, Lumpaglup, Smear and Sheer, Lollipoodle? Very creative, I told her, but... No. She smiled. Is it Rumpelstiltskin? My jaw dropped. It's not possible. How in the world did you ever... What are you? A mind reader? She grinned and cuddled her baby. What a bummer. What about the toys I'd bought? The nursery I'd painted? I stamped my foot hard and it went right through the floor. When I tried to pull it out, my leg came off. It came off! I did learn a couple important lessons from my adventure. Get paid right away and take only cash. The worst part? Now everyone calls me Rumpelstiltskin instead of Al. My secret's out and I can't fit my name on my business cards. Although, I guess it's still better to be called Rumpelstiltskin than Lollipoodle, right? <laughs>